Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry that I haven't been filming for a few months now, but yeah, there are some reasons for it. I'm not going to get into it in this video because obviously if you clicked on this, you're probably just hoping to see the review of the movie. So, let's talk about La La Land. Well, um, first of all, I want to say that I did like the movie. So, it's not like I'm bashing out the movie. I just want to point out a few positives and negatives of this movie. But, I'm just going to start off by saying this is not my favorite film of the year. I have to say that I'm not at all a fan of musicals. I actually hate them, usually. However, uh, and that's why I actually was not so excited about watching this movie. But since I saw so many raving reviews, I just had to see it. So, because... For the fact that I'm not a fan of musicals, I went into the movie theater with very low expectations because I was actually prepared to hate it. I am I am the kind of person that gets really annoyed when people can't really speak in a movie. They have to sing it. And I think that's so freaking annoying. However, this doesn't happen in this film. And I have to say that I, I found it quite enjoyable. So that's a big plus. For someone that went in with very low expectations, I actually really liked the film. It is a good film. Um, starting out with something that I notice that I don't see that often in films, at least I haven't seen in the films that I've watched. Los Angeles is a city that is not very well portrayed in films, or at all. And it's not usually portrayed as a charming city or even like an enjoyable or beautiful city. And I think what he did here was very intelligent, actually, that he took a city that is actually has this um, appearance or um, reputation of being a very superficial and very fake city, and he brought out beautiful elements of it. And I think that this was very smart, also in a sense that... Um, I mean, a lot of people that will be judging this film in festivals or in nominations and um, prizes, they obviously live in LA and maybe they love the city or maybe they don't, but they will identify with this element, right? I mean, I understand that completely. I think that he did a really good job in that. Um, I've heard a lot of people saying that this is kind of like a love letter to Hollywood or to LA and I kind of agree with that in some points. like. I think it's a realistic yet beautiful portrait since um, he doesn't really just point out the great things about the city but I think the use of colors for example the, the sunsets are really beautiful and the scene in the observatory is really cool and I think and I think that appealed a lot to the critics and I've heard that from some critics saying that yeah it helps that they live in LA Going into the movie, I think that the film is mostly about a love story, but also the chase of dreams and ambition, and how they differ. Like, dreams are one thing, but if you're not recognized for those dreams, like if you're not perceived from others as being good enough, they maybe don't matter as much, you know? And that's kind of sad, but that's what I got from the movie as well, because, you see, a woman that is a very good storyteller and she is very passionate about it but she sees herself like going through this stupid auditions and to this uh, lame parts that she's trying to get and she doesn't even get them and you see a guy that is really passionate about jazz and he is also kind of a loser like he sees that not many people care about it anymore um, and he wants to open his own jazz bar, but he's not sure if people actually will go to that place. And, I mean, it's not like your own passion matters if there is no one to share with, or if the other people don't really recognize it. And, um, well, the jazz part I thought was brilliant. I really love jazz, so I'm kind of, like, biased in that sense. I really love the, the parts that he played the piano and that he... Actually, I really loved his passion about it and how he explained it to Mia. Um, and he makes her see like the beautiful side of jazz and how 
it involves so much passion and people are expressing themselves through that and how she understands that after she kind of gets to know it she's not like just used anymore to the only the mainstream jazz that people normally know and I think one thing that she says to him is very interesting that she says that um, his passion is enough like if he wants to open a bar like he can transmit this passion to other people and I definitely agree with that I think that people are only successful in things when they actually are able to transmit this passion to others and I think in YouTube is also that way like people don't watch videos anymore because I know I don't know like the best tutorial of makeup is there or I don't know the best hauls or whatever they watch people that they like that they relate to that they like the personality and they see a passion in them also. Um, yeah, so I really love that. Um, I thought actually a lot of people were saying that uh, Ryan Gosling was not good at the movie. I didn't really agree with that. I found that the funniest parts were the parts that he was in and uh, some of the my favorite scenes of the movie that were quite funny and I was not expecting it to be, they came from him. And I actually appreciated his role much more than Emma's role, which is kind of weird, but anyways. I thought it was kind of cool that he used some of the references from other musicals, such as West Side Story, when they were, like, the girls were dancing in the street before they went to the party. Um, but that didn't really wow me. Like, as a musical, I don't think that this is revolutionary. I don't think that it's bringing anything exceptionally new or incredible to the table. That's just my opinion. I think that, yeah, the songs were okay, but I don't think that they were necessary most of the time. Like, they didn't really seem to match the whole story. Like, yeah, they were there, but if they weren't there, would be just as good, you know. Except for the, the scene that she is in the casting and then she sings the song and whatever. That one, I think, was important, and the song that he plays to her, that kind of draws her to him. That the film is very, very cute, and I think it, it really brings this emotional sense, like, of a couple that is first falling in love, and everybody knows this feeling, or most people know this feeling. And it's a very heartwarming uh, thing to see in, in the big screen, like, obviously, like, everybody loves this first part of the relationship where you can't get your hands out of each other and like you have this affection and this passion for one another but of course that doesn't last and I think that was pretty clear to me like that it was not going to be a classic love story like a cliche love story although I don't think that it was a very surprising ending because for me it was very clear the intention of the director and how he was leading everyone to that direction. Anyways, all in all, I think it's a good movie. It's not the best movie I've ever seen. It's not the best movie I've seen in 2016 or in any year. I don't think I will remember this in a few years and think, oh wow, that was a great classic and that was a masterpiece. That's not for me. I mean, it, I'm not saying that. Um, and I don't think people will, will study that in film school. I really don't. However, it is a well-made movie, it's good, it was kind of long and I think that for the length it could have gone a little bit deeper into the characters, which I found to be a little bit superficial in that sense, because I, I missed kind of getting more into what they knew about each other or like how they were together as a couple. Like, I found that it got distracted in some other ways, but it didn't really get into that that much. I'm going to go into the spoiler part of the video. So if you haven't seen the film and you don't want to get the spoilers, just click out now. But I think it's very difficult to talk about a film without really discussing its content, so I, I'm just... I have to go into it. So, first thing that I think is um, a lot of people were talking about this movie as like as of the ending being very heartbreaking and sad because they don't stay together and well as I said I thought that was pretty 
expected. I wasn't really surprised by that and it didn't move me actually that much. I mean I didn't cry in this movie and I am a crier. Maybe I'm just like heartless or maybe I've just seen too many sad movies and I don't feel like this is it, you know. It's not, the movie is not about uh, them being victims of circumstances or having to choose between love and career. I think this is kind of a black or white point of view and I think that's kind of stupid to think that. I mean it's kind of like simplistic even. It's not like that. I mean I think that they could have had it all. It wouldn't have, wouldn't have been easy but it is doable. But they just gave up and I think that says a lot about their characters. I think Sebastian was a very insecure guy and very mature at times and I think them as a couple they didn't really communicate that well. Um, I found like some of the things really impressive like I was surprised for example by the fact that she went to the, his gig like his first gig with his big band and she had never heard that music like what the hell is that? She knew how much that meant to him like the whole music side of things how his passion is jazz how can she not know what they play? Like she went there blind and then she was so surprised to hear it. Like what? Like was she not even interested at all? Okay. And I think that they talk a lot about their dreams but in a sense as like being so far away from reality like as if they would never get them. And that's pretty much like I think the reason why they don't really discuss them in depth. So they don't really uh, talk about how they are going to achieve these dreams. Like Mia is doing her own thing and she kind of, you know, has sort of a plan, I would say. But Sebastian, he's not really sure like how, like what is wanted from him and how, what he, does he want or how to get there. And I think that became pretty clear in their fight scene um, because they didn't have a plan. Like. Yeah, she didn't know his intentions, like, they didn't communicate at all, like, she didn't know that he was planning on staying in this band, she didn't know um, that he gave up his dream, basically. Um, like, why is that, you know? Like, how did you not discuss this between each other? Like, what, what kind of couple is that? Um, yeah, there are struggles in a relationship, but they are not... I mean, one fight is not the end of the world, as far as I know. and. You can overcome this, but I think you have to be mature enough, you have to be confident, you have to trust the other person, and you have to trust what you feel and the love that they feel for each other. They have to trust that. If this love is so great, like they say they will love each other forever, like why didn't they pursue it then? It's just like, really? Were their careers that big and that difficult to manage that they couldn't be together? I don't think so. Like, she could have gone to Paris and made the movie and they could have, he could have gone with her or not. Or he could have stayed there in the band and just made a plan to save up money to open his own bar and that would be fine. Like, she's not gonna stay there forever. They could have done a long distance relationship and then just got back together when she came back. I mean, she, there are a lot of actresses that live in LA. She could have just have her home based in LA. And whilst he actually has this, his own jazz bar in LA as well. That is totally doable. And I mean, of course, you can actually get married and you can hold a relationship. She was married in the end. So why was that? Because he followed her? Like, you know? And I found that, I mean, I was really pissed at Ryan, um, I mean, at Sebastian, at that fight scene because he basically put the whole responsibility onto her and he didn't really own up to his own actions. Like he he told her that she was the one that made him stay in the band or do the contract with them and that's not it. Like he had a choice, you know, he's always like being the passive one and the weak one and just like doing whatever people tell him to do. Like why is that? That says a lot about him as well. He's just very weak and insecure. So he didn't really believe in his own dream, I think. He just thought he was not capable enough and he had to settle. 
and that's fine. And she called him out for selling out. However, she sold out in the end, didn't she? I mean, yeah. And then, like, she has this whole what-if uh, scene in her mind that she thinks, oh, what if we stay together? However, it was not, like, a realistic portrait, obviously. Of course, if you have an idea, like, of what you wanted it to be like, it's not going to be reality. But it showed a lot about him, as, uh, her as well, because uh, she portrays it as being, like, all about his choice of staying in the band. And if he hadn't made this choice or he, if he hadn't gotten into this band at all, they would be together and he would follow her everywhere, but he wouldn't have, like, chased his dreams either. Like, why is that? That's pretty selfish of her also, I find. So I, I thought it was kind of like, yeah, two kind of selfish people that prioritized their careers and they didn't believe in their love enough to actually pursue it. And he, in the end, kind of, like, gives up. Like, she asks, where are they? And he just, like, kind of lets her go, you know? Like, yeah, that pretty... Th th that might seem selfless at the time, but I don't think so. I think he was just a coward, and he thought that he wasn't good enough for her, and he didn't want to, you know, have her there with him if he failed. And I think... I think they just made the choice to not go into the struggle, that maybe they weren't ready for it, for such a... It's very interesting in a way that they really helped each other and they, they grew together, but separately in the same way. Because he didn't believe in himself enough, but he did believe in her the whole way. And because of him, she goes to this casting and she gets her dream. Because she wouldn't go, like, she would, She was just, um, yeah, sad and disappointed and, and not ready to get another re rejection, but he gave her strength, and that's what you do in relationships. When she gets, gets into the bar uh, in the last minutes with her husband, and she sees the, this plate with uh, the name of the bar, which is Seb's, he wanted to name the bar Chicken on Stick, and she always said, said that it was a stupid name and nobody would go to this bar and in the end he actually took her advice and he gave the name that she she thought was more suitable and he actually did it the, the exact way she draw it like with the apostrophe being like a music thing and this actually reminded me of another film that I love and has nothing to do like the, the topic has nothing to do with it and it's her it's a movie from 2013 I think and it was one of my favorite movies of all time. But what I think it reminds me is uh, the last part of the movie, Her, where he actually writes a letter to his ex and he basically thanks her for everything. You know, like, he actually acknowledges that people that go through your life and pass by, maybe they're not going to stay there. Maybe the relationships will end. But you will always have a part of this relationship with you. And you'll carry this forever. Like, you'll have pieces of it that will stay with you. And the relationships will change you, even though the people are not there anymore. But this makes the person that you are now. And I think that was very beautiful to see that he took the name that she suggested. But overall, I really like the film. And I think it's worth watching. But, as I said, there are negatives in it, I find. I think that the plot was a bit weak. Um, it could have uh, developed a little bit more. It would have benefited from a bit more insight into their relationship and how they were together. It was just a bit superficial for me. And I think that's why in the end it didn't move me. And also because I wasn't surprised at all to see that ending. And I don't understand how anyone was. And yeah, the music was kind of mediocre. I thought it was kind of a cute film, but and I thought he was really good, but I, I didn't think they had exceptionally great chemistry together. Sorry, but I just didn't. So, yeah, that's it. Definitely worth a watch. Let me know what you think um, in the comments if you, if you like. 
and thank you so much for watching this video and I will try actually to make more reviews because I it's something that I really love and I'm really passionate about so I really want to to start incorporating that more in my channel and I don't want to be like a channel just about beauty or fashion or something like specifically this is a channel about me and what I like and what I'm passionate about and I think that's the most important thing actually so yeah I hope that you guys liked it if you liked it give it thumbs up and I hope that you subscribe and that I'll see you soon here again so thank you and bye